Three Supernovas doing a show. Supernova game and color. Let's go! Hello, welcome to another episode of Supernova Gaming. I'm Tommy Supernova. Started the timer over. And we're doing the gaming. I'm playing Broken Age. We've just switched over to Vela's part. And I talked to Carol or Carl. Carol? Carol. You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life saving cloud shoes here. Oh! I did, until you came along. Why did I think they were hats? Well, I'll let you get back to your work. No, ah, my work. Sorry. Ooh, Downy. Careful. Still got some bird mites on him. Ooh. Ooh, no, no. Okay, okay, get away, get away, get away, get away. No, no. Okay, so now I guess I'll talk to these guys. You know, they freaked me out the first time I saw them. Uh, I really don't want to. All right. Hi, my name is Bella. Let's we'll start with introductions. I am Walt Earl. Walter? Walt Earl. With an apostrophe? We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chick. Oh, poor kid. You named him Chet? No, that's mean. I'm just kidding. I like I like Chet as a name. I'm just kidding, but it changed to Chit. He sounds like he's saying shit. You, you, all the other kids are just gonna beat him up. Come on now, guys. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Don't smell her! And float a while. This, uh... Friend of mine escaped the Maiden's Feast. Really messed things up. She what? What kind of selfish monster would run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. Mmm, I smell a new location added. It was awesome. And Frosty. <laughs> very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Well, she just thought maybe she could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Well, I hope they put her in jail. <laughs> I hope I meet her someday so I can poke her with my stick. Dude, everything you say is can be taken way out of context. Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud because no one wants to leave. Mom says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Doom, doom, doom. Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. What do you guys smell like? Bird feathers? Birds stink, dude. I need to get to Mog Chathra quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. All right. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink. <laughs> Good job raising your son to be an asshole, sir. God. This magical place would win you over eventually. I don't even know. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. I'm only gonna imagine that they put Chet in that outfit because that's, um... Um... Buoyant, I guess? It's not... It's got, like, one big feather on it, and that's how they're supposed to keep their... selves afloat, I guess. So maybe it's just so he doesn't fall over and fall out and die? I don't know. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. 
and then poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. But they're birds. No, stay afloat. But they're birds. I'm pretty sure birds would figure it out. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? I really Happy don't. To? Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. <laughs> He's gonna hate that. Alright. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume. No, son. Try again. Jeez. Um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligo you rode in on. Oh, oligo! I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Oh, your hair. I thought he just did that. I thought that was just... <laughs> No, that's gotta be feathers on his head. Why are you have feathers on your head? That's his hair? Oh, jeez. Why shouldn't I talk to Jesse? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Oh, is that what that's about? Poor Jesse. Where did her egg go? It's against the Greener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty, and it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose speaks, cause leaks. Hmm. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. Dude. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. Wow. Have a good time with your terrible, 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 terrible lives. <sighs> so, on the next episode, because that took up the entire time, we're going to talk to this guy. He looks... Normaler. Alright, so we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. If you like the video, let me know! And we will keep on trucking through with what we do. Yeah! I really do need to take a few... I need to take some time off to figure out how to do this whole right off the top of my head bullshit because it is not happening. <laughs> Alright, see you guys then. Goodbye.